Aquarius is the last air sign. A lot of people think it's a water sign just because of the glyph, but in fact, it's an air sign. And it is ruled at the exoteric level by Uranus and at the esoteric level by Jupiter. We are entering the age of Aquarius, so this is an incredibly important sign for all of us, for humanity. Aquarius is the sign of group endeavor. It's the sign of group creativity. It says, we must come together, we are more together. It is only by coming together that we can take, a st take steps forward. So it is no longer the isolated Leo, it is now many Leos within the Aquarian group. And at any given time in an Aquarian group, the Leo must step forward, you know, so you can begin to sense also, it's an interesting thing with these polarities with Leo and Aquarius. Aquarius says, the phrase for Aquarius is, water of life am I poured forth for thirsty men. And the water of life is the wisdom. The water of life is whatever gift that you have that in, can improve or be for the betterment of humanity. You could say the water of life is the ageless wisdom poured forth to those men and women that are starved for the real, the real goods, right? The real wisdom. Um, Aquarius is at a certain level early on often feels like the lone wolf, you know, often feels where, where are my people? What is my group? Where are, where are they? You know, and it takes some evolving to call your truest allies to you, which as we sound forth our own note, we call our truest, we call our truest allies. Uh, Aquarius tends to, because Uranus rules it at the exoteric level, it's electric. It, uh, it enlivens things. It, it doesn't follow the traditional route. Capricorn follows the more of the traditional route. Aquarius does not. It, it, it innovates, it invents, it revolutionizes, it um, electrifies. Jupiter ruling it at the esoteric level simply says we're more together. You know, we're greater than the sum of its parts. This is, this is the way we must move forward as humanity, as one, no longer divisive, no longer po polarized. So Aquarius is really uh, the dawning age. It's the energy of universality. It's the energy we must call in. The fifth ray pours through Aquarius. And this also brings in the element of the mind and the discriminating mind and the scientific mind because it's when we're in the age of Aquarius that we will most likely prove, you know, scientific terms, the existence of the soul. So the fifth ray will help us bring spirituality and science together for sure. Aquarius is a great sign of distribution. Uh, and so it, it actually rules the internet. It rules our connectivity it, because you know it rules electricity and it rules our connection. So it distributes across the internet. It, it, it distributes technologically. So if we have an image of the earth, and you see all the cities lit up, you know, from looking down upon the earth or looking at the earth. That's such an Aquarian image because it's it's the the, the band and connectivity of light. So Aquarius wants to light the earth through the distribution of light. And one of the practices that Joel Cool definitely um, asks us all to participate in are triangles of light. And if you could imagine all people connected by triangles of light across the globe, that would create another amazing image and another very Aquarian image.